What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and today I'm going to be doing something totally different and this is a 360 boat tour. So you guys have been asking for the boat tour forever and you know I'm finally getting down to it. You know I'm actually about to go down to college and I decided you know we need to do a boat tour video but not only do we need to do the boat tour, we need to do the whole 360 view. So if you guys haven't seen a 360 video yet, you know it's really different. You know you can actually grab your phone you can move it around as you can see you guys can probably tell right now you guys can move around your phone you can look around the whole boat you can also move with your fingers to follow me around so what I'm gonna want you guys to do is as I'm moving around the boat as I go to the back of the boat as I go on the side as I open the compartments to actually follow me along with the video but let's go ahead and get this boat tour started so here I have all my compartments here on the front deck I'm gonna go ahead and start with the trolling motor and everything so I got a Minn Kota Fortrex, all right? That's my trolling motor that I have. The graph that I have on front is actually a, Gen, a Lowrance Gen 3 HDS 12. Um, great graph, phenomenal. Had it for a long time. In the dash, I actually have two nines, uh, HDS nines by Lowrance. And I also have a KVD Hydrowave on the front. I haven't used it too much. You know, I've experimented around a little bit to where, you know, the fishing conditions are tough and um, I have messed around with it here every once in a while, but nothing like, you know, the Lowrance grass that I use, you know, 24 seven onto the boat. But going on, I also have two buttons right here on the floor, right next to where the trolling motor's at. And those two buttons are actually for the power poles, which I have in the back. Um, I have two tens. That's gonna control them up and down. There's one that has an up arrow, there's one that has a down arrow. If you double tap it, it's gonna either drop the power poles or it's going to lift the power poles out of the ground. If you guys are wondering what the power poles are, the power poles are actually some shallow water anchors. So they go down 10 foot. So say I'm in like seven foot of water. Um, say I'm actually waiting for a tournament to blast off. Say I'm waiting here, you know, there's a lot of wind, but I am in shallow water. I'm in around six foot. I can actually drop the power poles and it will lock me into place. So I won't have to stay on the big motor or the trolling motor. But go ahead and we're gonna hop into the compartments. So right here is actually where I'll lay my rods on each side and that will strap it down. First compartment I'm gonna go into is actually this compartment right here on the side and in this compartment I'm gonna have pretty much everything like my rain suits um, all the safety equipment I'm gonna have some spare shoes just the whole deal like right here I have my Under Armour rain suit um, also got some extra shoes in there just in case it starts raining extra sweatshirts extra gear just because you never know what's gonna happen when the weather hits that's what I use everything in that compartment moving on to the next one right here next to it actually have my life jackets in the boat. I carry three life jackets on the boat at all times, three Mustangs. Um, this is actually a new one I just got. This is the Scout Fishing uh, Mustang life jacket. Got another regular Mustang right here. I keep three on, on me at all times in the boat because you never know how many people are going to hop on the boat if they're going to have a life jacket. Always need to be safe on the water. I really promote this. Um, but also, I actually have some safe face masks as well. I know it sounds crazy, but I can tell you one thing. If you're in, you know, 20 degree of weather, and it's pouring rain or it's snowing or whatever it's doing, I promise you, you're gonna need like some goggles or something to drive because you'll be getting pelted up. Moving on to the center compartment, which is actually where I keep all my baits or a big majority of my baits. You know, I have a lot of the regular stuff. I have deep diving crankbaits, fish head spin, finesse worms, Spy baits, walking, topwater baits, uh, chatter baits, jigs, worms. I got pretty much the whole deal in here. I got terminal tackle, I got weights, um, pretty much everything you can ask for. I actually have some line in the corners just in case, you know, something happens on the water if a backlash, something happens to my reel, you know, I always gotta have spare line um, if I need a leader or anything. I actually got, you know, spare reel in there as well. Never know what's gonna happen. Got some baits in the side that I actually I've recently been using. I usually just throw some on the side that, you know, I think I'm going to use that day or whatever lake I'm going to go to that I will need. So like I said, right down the middle, all the baits. I also have um, like a safety kit in there just in case something happens. You know, I've had multiple situations where, you know, either my buddy hooks himself or, you know, just something stupid happens. You never know what's going to happen, but I do have like a medic kit in there. Um, whole nine yards of baits, soft plastics, hard baits, everything you actually need. This last compartment here at the front of the boat, this is actually where I'm going to keep all my fishing poles. So, you know, say I'm done with the tournament, the whole deal, um, 
I want to put my rods away. I don't want them here on the front deck of the boat. And for some of you people, I know some people like to actually hide what they're using during a tournament. And if there's a two-day tournament, you know, some people are going to put their rods away. But for, uh, for perfect storage, you know, say you're traveling, you need to put your pole somewhere, you don't want to leave them on the front of the boat, you're actually going in the restaurant to eat, that's where I'm going to put my rods, and I'm actually going to lock that up. And uh, on all my poles in here, I actually have rod gloves. So this is actually going to protect the eyelids of the rods. And uh, if you guys are wondering where you can get these, you can actually go to my website, and I actually sell Kicking the Rest TV rod gloves in green and blue. Go check them out, link will be below. Now jumping down to the middle of the boat. You do have one thing right here, and this is actually the cooler. So we got a cooler right here. Keep a lot of waters and everything in there, um, right in the middle. As of on the sides right here, I got all the pliers, scissors, everything you need to cut your uh, lures off. Moving on to the back of the boat, I actually have, you know, of course, number one thing, the net. Always gonna have a net in my boat, you know, 100%, especially in a tournament. You know, even when I'm fun fishing, I just have a net in the boat, you know, it's just something I have. But, you know, tournament fishing and everything, no doubt in my mind, I'm always going to have that net in the boat. You never know what's going to happen. Moving on to the dash of the boat, I got two Lowrance Gen 3 HCS 9s. Um, they actually have the E-locks on the side of them, so it actually locks them onto the boat. So everything's safe, and especially on those, like, cold winter days, it's kind of annoying, you know, taking the grass on and off, on and off. So it's better just to have them locked onto the boat, and that's all good. Um actually got two the buttons for the power poles as well and that's the up and down right here I actually got like a little glove box I will put my phone wallet keys whole deal uh, fishing licenses as well say I want to go to Alabama over here if I want to go to South Carolina you know I got my fishing license um, so wherever I'm traveling always have that with me um, especially with like the phone and the keys there I mean I've lost my wallet I've lost my keys um, I broke my phone just from water going over the boat and it's better just to keep it, you know, locked up where nothing's going to happen, especially if it's like raining and storming real bad. So moving on to the, uh, the comp compartment on this side, this is actually my compartment that I leave for uh, my co-anglers in the boat. So if they come in, you know, they're going to have a lot of their fishing gear as well. Of course, they're going to use some of my fishing gear, but I want them to be able to put their fishing gear in a whole separate compartment so they're not going to have it all over the place and it's going to be laying around. It's going to be a big mess. So I usually keep one of these cleared out for, you know, the co-angler in my boat and also for like a weigh-in bag. Moving on to this compartment right here, I actually have just a few things in here. And I have this box right here with assorted baits. This has pretty much a little bit of everything. This is something I always keep in my boat if I'm going pond fishing and I want to go by the boat and I want to grab something, you know, that I can use pretty much anywhere and it has a little bit of everything. I usually have a box set up for that, especially if I go to a different lake and I'm like kind of searching through all my tackle instead of going through everything. I already have a box with a little bit of everything except for soft plastics, but all hard baits. You know, I got crank baits, buzz baits, spinner baits, jigs, whole deal, um, all in this box every, uh, for when I travel. Then that last box in there is actually full of assorted soft plastics. So I got the whole deal locked down in there. Moving on to something very big that I want to really talk about is the live well. And um, if you guys are wondering what's on top, these are the new pro products, BT2s, and these are libel ventilation systems. So you guys are probably like, what is that? You, you probably don't know what it is. Well, what these things do is, is these little, little things on top. And so say I have some fish in a live well, it's a hot summer day, you know, those fish most likely are gonna die if you don't put ice in there, if you don't put anything in there. Actually, when you're running the boat, right here's a little vent. You have the good oxygen that goes in. You have the oxygen goes in and pushes all the bad oxygen out. So it's keeping all this fish all hyper. It's keeping them lively. They're not over here slouching around. They're not over here dying. If you're wanting to go check them out, go check them out at New Pro Products. Also, I actually have a video of me installing these in my boat. It's very simple. Um, but honestly, that's that's one thing that I believe in so much that I would never buy a boat and just not put those in there because. Everyone on my boat, I talk about them all the time, and that's one thing I believe in so much. That's ridiculous. If you want to go check them out, new pair of products. I actually have my seat right here in the boat. I don't have my seat on the front. I usually clear out the seats just because I want a lot of room in the boat. You know, if my fishing partner's fishing next to me, um, up in the front of the boat, have a lot of space to move around, hook set, whole ordeal. If you guys are wondering about my motor, I've got a 250 Yamaha Show, and that is honestly the best motor I've had. Um, you know, I had a two-stroke before, and 
it just nothing compares to the show right here. The show is just absolutely amazing. And if you're talking about the power poles, um, these are 210 power poles, so they go down 10 foot. And this is one of my favorite things on the boat that I actually just recently added. It's actually the light on top of the power pole. So it's just like the nav lights. Like, say you're about to fish a tournament, you have the front nav lights, and you have the back nav light. Well, the nav light's already on the power pole. The front lights are already built into the boat. So literally all I have to do is hop in the boat and press a button. I don't have to get out, screw in everything, and that's the whole deal. And if you're wandering around the boat, I actually have some rigid A-series uh, green LED lights that light up inside the boat. Big shout out to Rigid for sending me those. But overall, guys, I want to do something a little bit different. You guys have been asking for this tour for a long time. Maybe I'll go in-depth with a different tour as in hands-on. But I did want to show you guys something a little different since you guys have been waiting so long for this video. So I wanted to show you... The, you know the virtual tour the 360 tour of this video but overall if you guys want to check out some of my new shirts right here go to my website below raw gloves you can click the link below um, but overall thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to like the video comment below and subscribe if you haven't already i'll catch you guys in the next one